Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Call by Call. This is Tracy here speaking. So we're on the Winner Winner uh, site and we are in the new setup they have. It's the UFO Catcher. Um, so this is basically the same concept in Japan. So uh, in Tuiwa style, so basically you're trying uh, to use the UFO Catcher to move the box to the pie chute down onto the ground. However, uh, yeah, so this, this is basically the same concept, but uh, yeah, so this has a more similar feel to like a Tariva setup, but uh, for now, for Americans, this is going to feel a little bit different because you can't try to pick up, essentially, so of all these UFO catchers, all the lifting is a little bit weak, so it's kind of hard, and also, this part here is where you try to put it through. These areas here are glass, I believe so. Actually, this is not glass, but they hold on the beam. So, um, yeah. So basically, you basically have to play this one by one, essentially. So you have to basically do the ping pong method, go left and right, and people trying to lift it immediately on that one, it probably won't work. Um, it could possibly work if you just uh, pick up on the front side of it and moves a little bit to it. But this is, as I mentioned, a progressive game. So you're not going to win this immediately on one shot. Unless they made a mistake on Sam the Machine. Actually, who's going to win this one? So there's actually several prizes to this one. Uh, but uh, we're, we're just focusing on the game. Uh, because this is brand new for Winner Winner. So let's check it out. So here we go. Uh, and uh, this, this thing might not be the best. Okay, so they moved a little bit to the front here. All right, so here we go. All right, so we are going to... Okay, they poked it on that one. So this is this is one... This one you have to... Takes a few attempts to this because this is a new con... This is a new concept. And from the looks of it, uh, what I'm seeing on this UFO catcher on Winner Winner, the claws, uh, when it opens up, is not as a big... Not as big a ride as Toriba is, so you basically need to have a good guess on this. Alright, so they're there. Are they going to go to the... Oh, they're going to the back. I think to the midpoint. I don't know about... Yeah, went to the midpoint, but it did move back to the middle, so that's the good part of that about that. So that's the only thing I'm, I can be sure about on this setup is that you need to move it in the front of it. You can't do it in the back, but if you want to do it in the back, you need to have the box halfway, halfway off the ledge, halfway on the platform. And then you can do whatever you want. And this is where I think experimentation uh, works. And then that's why you see 65 people seeing this right now. So you need to. So that's why you need to take a look into it and see how does this UFO catcher works on Winner Winner? Because this is not a one shot thing, and someone doesn't know the controls of this. <laughs> uh, interesting on that way. Right, so here we go. So this one goes a little bit to the right. Uh, I am kind of worried where this is going. Ooh, that actually moved. Ooh, interesting. So it. It's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit sensitive, but uh, uh, it that's interesting. Like usually in the poking, so you know the, the the touch point is pretty good on this one. So if they touch it, it could possibly move it. So that's actually pretty good. Now I think you can go in front, and I think are they trying to do the same thing here? Let's see here. Now this is it. now this is interesting in this setup is that usually in the uh, the Japan uh, UFO catchers it's one way and then the other way and that's it. This one you have all directions and you can do whatever you want. So that's a very interesting setup, and I want to see who would uh, take advantage of that one. There's usually uh, on Tariwa and then like the other claw game setups. It's one way or the other, and that's it. And you have to perfect the aim to this one. This one, you can play around on one setting and find where you want to hit it. So this will be very interesting. Oh, maybe not on this one. Uh, yeah, that's That wasn't good on that one. 
All right, so here we go again. And, oh, all right, so it's back as straight as it is. Uh, yeah, this thing is pretty good. It's not a great lifter, but it's an, it is pretty good on the touch point and where you want to. Yeah, so we're a quarter way. The box is around a quarter way. So I, I've been just going for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, have to, you still have to get used to this because I think people don't know the concept of moving right and left and such. So, all right, so they're going for the back side. And I don't know if they again yeah, no. That did nothing. I mean, if you're new to this, I mean, I think this is where I think Tarifu might be helpful if you watch those videos of those uh, UFO catchers and those type of games. It, though it's a little bit different because uh, you have the platform and it's hard to like, flip it over because they do set it up. But in this case, I think this is helpful. It's just you got to find a way. Just go in front and you should win it. Of course, it's going to take a lot of credits to that. Obviously, but it is what it is. All right, so here we go. All right, they're going to the mid, uh, midpoint. I let's see. I, it's oh that they they stubbed it, so that wouldn't do anything. Yeah, the grip is just yeah. You this one, I think you need to aim it perfectly because uh, if you want to make a lift in the middle. You have to aim it where the grip is because it's the the UFO catcher here is not ride, so you do have to aim it pretty good, basically close to the middle, and then I would just just go in front and just lift it as it is. I right, said, so here we go. Yeah, so you can move many different di di different directions, so you can aim it perfectly. You don't have to drop immediately. You can do both angles, see which one's best, and then just go from there and okay that's another stub yeah let me see what's the point of view of this one yeah it was a little bit to the right you do need to be in the middle in this case and I think that's the case where like where the boxes line up you have to be the UFO catcher has to be lined up in the middle and also you have to do it in front because in the back because you have the glass there it will be hard to lift up the box you can lift up a little bit, but uh, where, where it's on the edge right now, it'll be easier to lift, and then uh, you'll be good to go. I want to see this angle. Is this slanted? The play here, go in front, try to go in the middle, exactly aim close to the middle, or, or exactly to it, and then line up on the front edge of the box, and then try to move it near the uh, down to the price chute. So here we go. Okay, so this one's lined up pretty well. Oh, oh! Wow. That was pretty easy. Oh. Yeah, so it can lift easily, and that's basically it. So it was a half. So basically, that was a quarter way of the ledge, and then it just flipped over. Huh. That's interesting. Very interesting. So, congratulations to that person who won the prize. Uh, so that's the new Wind Runner setup, uh, the new UFO Catcher. It's nothing really ne new. You have seen it on Toribo and the other uh, Japanese claw games. So it'll be interesting how people will take advantage of it. Um, so that's that. So next week, we're going to have a special episode. Um, we're actually going to uh, post a video around midnight on Friday because it will be the Lunar New Year. And we're going to see around all these different uh, videos on if they've done special for Lunar New Year. Definitely this icing special for Valentine's Day. And that person raised a lot of coins for that one. Anyway, but uh, we're going to have a special video. It's going to be a little bit longer than uh, expected. Uh, so prepare for that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to post it on Friday at midnight during the, lun the start of the Lunar New Year. And yeah, enjoy it. So, I hope you enjoy Super Bowl weekend, and I will see you in the next time. Bye.